Hello there, Missy. You must be a girl of refined taste to take such an interest in this old geezer. I was born at the inn my mom worked at. She only met my father once, but she described him to me in detail, so that I'd know you when I saw you. Well, ain't that a touching story. If you want to give your daddy a hug, then put your hands up. How can you be so sure that it isn't true? I made my sister a promise, so this tale of yours is a joke and a shit one at that. You're so mean. Daddy! <laughs> Well, damn. Seems you've hit your rebellious phase. Come back! <laughs> huh. That's a new one. His legs are saying it'll snow today, right? Yeah, but his torso's saying clear skies. Call it hail and get moving. No. Or you'll be late for muster. Berthold, wake up! Well, you two slept like babies after playing with your friends. I was crawling around the capital sewers. But I hit my limit. Almost got caught. Your limit, huh? Let's cut our losses and take what we know back to Marley. At this point, I bet they'll be happy to hear anything. Now, after five years, they'll be expecting a lot more than a few scraps of information. All right, asshole. Do you have a plan? Yeah, we breach Wall Rose. It's the best chance we have of smoking out the Founding Titan. It also means killing a lot of your friends. I keep telling you, Annie. The cadets aren't our friends, they're devils. But it can't hurt to gain their trust. So I wish you'd act a little less standoffish. Let them think you I'm wanna... gonna puke. Could you please move your face away from mine? <sighs> You're exhausted. I'm sorry for laying so many burdens on you, Annie. Let's call it a night. <laughs>